You're about to hear from the captains for MMI's District 2 single-A champion boys basketball team. The Preppers beat Susquehanna 38-22 in the title game. Now the District's 2-11 single-A sub-regional tournament only takes one team from District 2. This year, Susquehanna qualified due to their performance in the regular season. They won the sub-regional championship and went to the state tournament. MMI, finally healthy, played their best game of the year to win the school's first district championship in basketball since the state championship team in 1973, but they did not get to play in the state playoffs. But that takes nothing away from what they were able to accomplish at the Mohegan Sun Arena on March 4th. And I want to thank Precision Design of Hazleton for all the great still photos you're about to see. Here with MMI basketball captains George Palermo and Michael Bedemo. And guys, you have the, the baseball stuff all on, baseball season right around the corner. But how long are you going to enjoy and relish the um, basketball district championship? I mean, you're still on a high from that? Yeah, I think I'm going to be forever on a high from that as <laughs> the first championship I've really ever won uh, with MMI. I've been playing in th for three different sports for four years, so I think I'm going to forever relish that moment. How about you, Michael, man? You still like go to bed at night or wake up and be like, wow, was that real? Or? Yeah, you know, that moment of when we won the district title, uh, I've been playing on MMI's basketball team since I was a freshman and just seeing how we lost every single year, my freshman year, sophomore year, junior year, and finally me and George could finally get something done our senior year for Joe. We brought him back our first district title. That's going to definitely stay with me the rest of my life. And take me through the celebration a bit. You know, when Joe put me back in the game in that late fourth quarter and then he took me out again, uh, you know, I just, right there, I just thought about all the great times me, me and George have had playing basketball with each other and knowing that that was probably going to be the last time I see him on the court. It was, uh, it, was pretty, it was a pretty exciting moment. And having that said, being our last time on the floor together, we, you know, we brought our school back a district title. It was pretty exciting. Yeah, because you both grew up in the Valley. I mean, you guys going yeah. to the same school? I mean, tell me about your upbringing a little bit. Yeah, George has actually been my, my, George is actually my first friend that I've ever made. <laughs> He's been my best friend since kindergarten. Roles as captains. I mean, what was it like in this season where you have some injuries, you have some adversity? I'm sure you're used to it, but then how do you get the guys focused to be like, listen, there's still something to play for this season? You know, like the entire season, we, I mean, we've practiced every single day. And just coming in every day, having a positive mindset, that really feeds off the rest of the team, you know. Like we'll do these things called defensive slides and just like getting the, the entire team like, excited to do them. That really like encourages the team to do well and fill other positions that, that we needed to fill. Not only do you guys win the district championship, um, you, you did it, it seems, in a dominant fashion. I mean, how proud are you of the performance that you were able to put up against Susquehanna? Yeah, I, I'm extremely proud of it. Um, you know, we just really played together well as a team. I remember one of the big things was at the end of the game, just wasting time off the clock, running through our plays, and at the end just getting an easy layup, like very good efficiency, which sometimes uh, we weren't able to execute that well this year. So to be able to play so well final game, uh, it, it, was, it was big. It was good. It's a great ending, man. Your senior year, you get a district championship. Is there a little part of your mind when you look at that game and you're like, if we got into the state playoffs, what, what could have yeah, happened? Yeah, <laughs> no, I, I've thought that all season. Um, Kind of, uh, as Coach said before, we went through some adversity this season. Uh, Philip, uh, one of our best players, gets hurt, is out for almost the entirety of the season. And when he was here and we started off, we were, I think, 5-1, and one, and then kind of plummeted from there. So, yeah, if our record could have been better and we made the uh, sub-regional and then Susquehanna won that and we beat them by how many. So, yeah, there is always a big what-if about it. Specifically, what did you guys do so well against Susquehanna? I mean, I, we kind of generically said defense and that playing as a team, but what did you guys really do? What was the game plan and what worked out well? Um, I think one of the big things was just to lock up and play uh, good defense. One of uh, Coach Flanagan's, hit, without a doubt, his biggest pillar is to play, is to play good defense every day, uh, practices a grind, sweating, and going really hard, and it's all because of defense. And he said, shooting at that gym is going to be tough, so if you play good defense, we'll have them. And I think for the whole third quarter, we shut them out. They didn't score a point, so it was really the defense that was the biggest part of the game. Um, playing for Joe, I mean, even how, um, and I mentioned some of his past players told me, like, I just hope he gets a district championship. Did it mean yeah. something to you guys to be able to give him a district championship? Yeah, that, honestly, I think that was the biggest thing with me. I mean, he literally eats, sleeps, breathes <laughs> everything basketball, and he 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 cares about the game more than any coach I've ever had in any sport. Like basketball is truly his life, and he cares about his players so much. So to win one for him, considering that he's never won one, and for me and Mike to be able to do that in our senior years, to be able to remember to remember him in that way, uh, that that meant the most to me out of anything. 
So guys, what's the nicest thing someone has said to you, um, if you think about it, um, after the championship? I mean, do you get free Sorrentos for life? I mean, what happens now um, after you win the district championship? Or what's the nicest thing that someone said to you? I mean, I wish we could get free Sorrentos uh, <laughs> for, my, for the rest of my life. But I mean, I wouldn't say I specifically have in mind like a nicest thing someone mm -hmm. said to me. But like coming into school the next day after that win, like it was just really nice walking through the halls with my head high. And like all my friends dabbed me up. And it was just a really good feeling. <laughs> Everyone congratulating me, all the teachers. Just a really good feeling. How about you, George? Is there any moment that really sticks out or something someone um, said? Or? Well, I, th I think the best part of it afterwards was uh, me and Mike at the game had the trophy together up on the Jumbotron, like hugging right. each other, had sweet pictures of that, so that means a lot. Another thing, shout out to one of my teachers, Mr. <laughs> Parati, my math teacher, like went crazy when he saw me in school. So like that in my mind, that might have been the nicest thing someone said to me afterwards. A lot of good things going on here in Freeland Gentlemen. Thank you so much for your time. I pulled them okay. out of baseball practices. They aim for another tro trophy, but congratulations on the District 2 championship.